What's going on people? How y'all doing? Um, I got Uncharted The Lost Legacy a little bit early. I got the game on Thursday. I didn't start playing the game until Friday, but I beat the game this morning on Crushing. So I'm going to give you guys my spoiler free thoughts of Uncharted The Lost Legacy. Is this game worth the $40 price tag? It's 100% worth the $40 price tag, guys. This game's absolutely amazing. Naughty Dog never ceases to amaze me. Like, after I completed Uncharted 4, I thought I was, like, pretty much done with our Uncharted series. I Maybe it would get old, you know. Like, can they really pull off another one and be, you know, great? And clearly, you know, they still got the juice, man. Naughty Dog are is one hell of a team. Like, real talk, they're really, really good. Honestly, Uncharted The Lost Legacy is my third favorite uncharted game of all time if you're asking me if i'm ranking my favorite uncharted um, games my personal favorites uh in order is uncharted 4 uncharted 2 now uncharted the lost legacy sits at number three i think it's definitely better than uncharted 3 without a doubt better than uncharted 3 and definitely better than uncharted 1 as well but that's just my personal opinion you play it and tell me where um you rank this game i would like to know um if you're like me, you probably thought that, yo, can Uncharted be the same without Nathan Drake? Can Uncharted survive without Nathan Drake, man? Like, when DS DLC was announced for Uncharted 4, I honestly thought we are going to be playing as Nathan Drake. Maybe Sully the most, or definitely Nathan's brother. But to our surprise, we're, we were playing as Chloe and Nadine. Um, they go on a little adventure. Um, and, it's a, and it gives us a great backstory on Chloe too and she's a very interesting character we all know um, Uncharted has great supporting characters so I shouldn't be too surprised so yeah the game was really great and uh, it really told a great story for Chloe and um, we got to know Chloe uh, m a lot more uh, with Uncharted The Lost Legacy and her past and all of that so I was really pleased with it and yeah the, the story was very good um, you already know Naughty Dog is Naughty Dog is great at making dialogue. So the dialogue between um, Chloe and Nate, Nadine was so natural, so good. Um, you already know it's Uncharted, so yeah, all the witty jokes that you would expect is there, all the comedy. The game was great, guys, to be honest, man. Honestly, the story was great. And then the antagonist, the bad guy, was really, really good and well done, too. Honestly, Uncharted, The Lost Legacy, has some of the craziest set pieces. The set pieces in this game is really, really good. Really, really enjoyed it. Um... You get to a certain chapter in the game where the game opens up. You probably heard that the game's open world. I wouldn't really say open world. It's, a, it's, a, it's more like a hub world. Right? You get to a certain chapter where the game opens up where, where you can explore more and um, stuff like that, which was pretty dope. Um, the game took me about eight hours to beat on crushing. I, ha I died, uh, I think my stat was, was it 76 times? I think I died 76 times. Um, in this playthrough there was two spots that were really really difficult but you just got to take your time it wasn't really that bad but you got to just take your time um so if you're playing the game on normal you're probably gonna beat the game in six seven hours the plan depending on um, the open world part if you just fly through it so six seven hours i would say um on normal but to get all the collectibles um due to all the dialogue trope um, dialogue of conversations for the trophies and stuff should take you quite a bit you probably can suck honestly pause 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 you probably can get <laughs> about maybe with a guide 16 16 hours out of this game i feel like if you're going for the completionist 16 17 so yeah the length of the game is good um for the price and the game does include the multiplayer and the survival mode so that's pretty good that it includes that as well so yeah i really enjoyed the story of the game the gameplay obviously plays like uncharted 4 which is great um the only new thing that they added to the game was lock picking you couldn't do that in uncharted 4 but they added it to lost legacy um adds a little bit of a dynamic to, to the game because it does emphasize lock picking in certain areas so um that was cool i guess so yeah so if you played, you know, Uncharted 4, or you're gonna be right at home with Uncharted: The Lost Legacy. Honestly, the story was great. Obviously, the game is beautiful. The game is really, really good looking. Um, it's using the same engine as Uncharted 4, so it looks similar. But the game is very, very good looking. Um, I did encounter frame rate drops though. 
I did encounter frame rate drops in certain areas where it got uh, a little busy. So um, I'd be gaming on PC, and you guys know that. So you know, jumping to 30 frames per second, really, you know, I had to get used to that again. I had to get used to the 30 frames. But uh, once I got, when I did, it wasn't that bad. But in certain areas, it would drop pretty low. So um, hopefully, there's a patch that um, locks the frame rate up. But overall, man, this experience was so good, so good, and it's now my third favorite Uncharted game. So guys, that's my spoiler-free thoughts on Uncharted, um, The Lost Legacy. I say pick it up if you're a fan of Uncharted. It tells a great story of um, Chloe and Nadine, and I would actually like to see more. I actually thought maybe I'll be done with Uncharted, but I would actually like to see more, and maybe we can get a, a game with um, Nathan's brother and stuff like that. That would be pretty cool. Um, but or we could get more of Chloe. I'll be so down with more of Chloe and Nadine because this game was actually really good. So yeah, Uncharted can work without Nathan Drake. Anyways, guys, that's my thoughts on um, Uncharted: The Lost Legacy. You guys should definitely check it out. And yeah, let me know when you play. What's your thoughts? And hit the like button and please subscribe if you're new to my channel. Really do appreciate it. And I'll see you guys later. Take these.